that, that invested in speaking to him about his endeavor. He told me on the live at the time, um, but I don't exactly remember, I don't want to say it's signed and it's not signed, but it's business. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he wants to study in Saskatchewan here in Canada. That's way, a place in Canada, it's, it's, it's a province, it's called Saskatchewan. Okay, yeah. okay, I don't That's know. That's where the college, I understand, uh, Northwestern College. Yes, yes, Northwestern. That's where he yes. wants to study. Yes. And um, so you, you must have spoken to him yes. after, and how is it going so far? Well, I spoke to him yesterday, but prior, yesterday when I spoke to him, it wasn't about how it was going. Um, I know that he has done the paperwork, and the embassy was waiting on him to get the money from the GoFundMe, that part I know. Um, the GoFundMe just put it to the auntie's bank account, that was what I was told last night, and they froze her bank account because of the amount of money. They know it's from a GoFundMe, but she has to know go into the bank to sort explain. it out, yes, explain, and then she can get the check to pay the school fee so that the Canadian embassy can say that the money was paid over, etc. And I'm telling you, everybody's on this. Um, all, I, I don't want to say, but all the, you know, the media houses and everybody is on it this is a big deal. It's a big deal. here in Canada. And when I go out, people personally come up to me and say, oh my God, thank you, you are doing such an awesome job. I, I, I pinch myself because I don't know how I did it. Everybody's rooting for him, and he is going to get the visa, I can tell you that far. But they're just waiting on the, the, the school fee to be paid over the bank to release it. That's how powerful so they, yeah, yeah. yeah your, your, your platform is. Yes. It's indeed a big, gigantic platform. Wow. Uh, listen, I mean, when I see something like this, I really have to ask you as well. Because, um, you know, you're friends with some other influencers, um, not just in Jamaica, around the world. Um, do you ever think that because of your, your power, and your awesomeness of getting things done that there might be some level of jealousy i mean how do you deal with that if there is well there is there is a lot of jealousy pertaining to me but you know i've learned I, i've grown a bit over the past year should i say a year we have learned to block out the negativity i don't let it affect me i i don't want to give these negative people any any kind of um noise or anything so i hold my head straight i don't listen to certain things um about me anymore i have moved from a baby stage to now walking so people always talk and in life if you do good people are going to talk and if you do bad they're going to talk and i i see that my my positivity has outgrown the negativity when i come here everybody sees me don't listen to those people don't talk about them you are doing awesome you're doing a fantastic job everywhere i go and the calls that i get so you know that keeps me grounded and you know i'm i'm, I'm good with that mm, well mm -hmm. i'm glad you're you're able to deal yeah um you know with any uh, negative vibes that may come your way. Yes. That yes. because you're a diamond. Thank you're, you're you. You're hard to crack. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so, all right, listen, let's talk about uh, your brand. Yes. It has expanded over the years. Yes, definitely. Where are you now with your brand? Well, um, the DMG brand is going good. I am just in a pause for a minute now because I'm doing some other stuff and I am working on something that I will be bringing out. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing good so far. I give God thanks and going into different area with my brand, something that I don't wish to speak on as yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what can you divulge about your brand so far? Well, the DMG, it has no limits or no boundaries. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can deploy that. Of course. Yes. And you're ambassador to so many other stuff happening yes. uh, in Jamaica. What are some of the, the amb uh, ambassadorial stuff that you're doing? Well, I am ambassador for Phoenix Vision Eye Care. When I started out with them, we only had one branch in St. Anne's Bay. Mm -hmm. No, we have one in Champions Mall, Falmouth, one in Mall Plaza, Kingston, one in St. Mary, um, and one in St. Anne's Bay and that's four and we are growing. Um, Phoenix Vision Eye Care is the number one high store in Jamaica and I would highly recommend it.
persons over here, I meet a lot of persons and they're like, Auntie Dan, I want my family to go to Phoenix. I want my sister to go to Phoenix. And I'm doing it because of you. I'm brand ambassador for Miss Birdie, Purity, the brand, as you guys know here. Um, it's a big brand in Jamaica. Auntie Dana has highlighted it more and persons have come on board and they have supported Purity. I work with um, Beautiful Lashes, Curves by Tina. Wow. Uh, Misty Obsession. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Quite a few and pending. I have a new contract. As I go back to Jamaica, I'll be working for that company. I was supposed to start um, at the end of this month, but because I wasn't there, I could not have get to go on board. Mm. Mm. Well, what about uh, from this end of the world? Are, are you doing any um, advertising or... Are you here? I, I, have, I, I, I was approached, but because I have to speak to my manager mm -hmm. and I won't be here for a long time, I have to go back to Jamaica for my son to go to school. Um, they'll have to go through my manager. What is it that you have not done so far? Wow. I mean, I've you, not you, you have done mood. just about everything. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. Yes. And definitely. Um, for 2023, where do you see yourself? Well, as my grandmother would say, sky is the limit, and I want to excel and excel and excel mm -hmm. and be uh, a better person than the one I was yesterday. I want to backtrack a bit about um, some of your goals and objectives and, of course, uh, your, um, your brands. You have so many, but... Different logos, different slangs, things that I speak, I put them into writing on a t shirt and persons support me. I give that answer. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I invited you back into the studio is to talk about so many different things, but I also would like Canadians to be able to tap into um, you know, your brands and to be part of, of this um, big platform. Oh, thank you. Yeah, because we want you to soar like an eagle for 2023. Uh, let's talk about your house. How far is it so far? Well, it's finished. You've got banks, it's finished, and it's furnishing now. Um, as I speak, person are here um, placing furniture and said, you know, um, it's finished, it's complete. And, and I'm living in part of it. And they, when I left, they were putting in the building. And they are finished now. So it's lighting is going on. You know, I was waiting on some stuff from overseas that I didn't get, and I finally heard that they reached 99. Now they, they were off on them for a while because there were some backlog. So it's finished. I'm just decorating process now. How many rooms? Oh. Three bedrooms. Yes. Living room, bathroom, kitchen, dining area. How do you feel knowing that this little girl, um, God just brought her up so rapidly well, to this magnificent level in life? As you said, how do I feel? I feel good. Um, the key to what I do in life is my prior life. With God, I do nothing without mentioning God, or asking God for direction, and praying to God in everything that I do. And I always tell people that no matter what you are going through in life or what you are doing, always have a relationship with God. I find out that when I pray about things, it comes true. I never, ever ask God for anything, and he doesn't grant it. Anything that he does not grant to me is what I must not have. And, and that is my philosophy. I teach my kids that, and I teach anybody that comes around me that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, religiously, people might say, okay, I wonder how often Auntie Dana goes to church. Well, <laughs> that's not that... I don't go to church very often yeah. of late um, because of work, but I do go to church, but it's not how often I go I to church, to say that. it's how yes. often I pray. That's right. And I have a prayer life where I talk to God every day, but I mm -hmm. do, especially when it's baking time, you know, but I do, I still, still go to church. Uh, what bothers Auntie Dana when she lies in bed, when, when she's relaxed, when she's at home, mm -hmm. what would really bother you? I mean, what would you worry about? I mean, you have so much. I mean, but there are issues that we all have. Yes. Oh, wow. What bothers me? Um, 
Honestly, I don't let anything bother me. I reach a point in life where I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I always tell people that I'm happy, I'm stress free. I just lie down, I give God thanks. If it's good today, I still give God thanks. And if it's bad today, I still give God thanks. And I don't have any bad days, to be honest. I don't let nothing get to me. You know, if, if I, you know, we are humans and back in the days, I think I used to let things like person's reaction or perception of me um, get to me. No, uh, say anything when you're asked about me in a business. <laughs> when I don't care. You know, that's me. Mm. Yes. Uh, you know, you look around you in Jamaica mm -hmm. and you see what's happening. Uh, I want to talk about women. Mm -hmm. Empowerment of women in Jamaica. Yes. You are an inspiration to so many. Thank you. Um, you have let women... Uh, feel uh, not just empowered but beautiful and dare I say it's sexy <laughs> um, it's true um, yeah. because you 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 take them mentally from um, you know uh, a very low level self-esteem mm -hmm. to feeling confident about themselves what would be your message to not just women in Jamaica but women all around the world listening right now okay so one of them most common questions or things that get thrown in my face is my shape. If you watch social media, you'll hear people say, Boy, she shape bad. Boy, she have breasts in her back. Boy, her belly big. Boy, she not stay good. And I absorb it. The biggest thing that I would like to tell a person is love yourself for who you are. I accept my flaws, my fat breasts, my twist up knees, whatever person say, and I run with it. I never want to be the next per I don't want to be Rose. I don't want to be Latoya. I want to be Auntie Dana. And I always tell people, do not compare yourself with others. There can only be one Rose, and there can only be one Dana. Go. And I accept myself for that. Whatever it is, if I get up today, I'm going to feel bloated. Oops. If I get up today and I feel bloated, or if I get up today and I feel like I have to put on too much weight on my neck or my cheek, I get fat. I go out there and I embrace being me. And, and, and one of the most important things that we have to understand that a lot of women compare themselves with others. The moment you do that, you will never find happiness. So you have to love and respect yourself for who you are.